So connect OBD2 port, connect USB, turn on ignition. Let's go to options and test connection. When this is done, click OK and save connection. Now select control module. First, we will turn on homecoming. Go to central electronics. And when it's loaded, go to coding and long coding helper. Now in byte zero, on bit seven, here you can activate coming home. Then in byte two, this is one, two, on uh, bit four, you can choose either to have coming home mode personalization or light sensor. And then on byte 23, here on bit 5, you can choose coming home logic old or coming home logic new. Let's say we want new one, go exit, do it to replace the coding, click OK close controller and that's it for the homecoming. Usually it's good to save these coding uh, values. Maybe even quick array is to print screen. It automatically saves a picture to my Dropbox. Well, this is just in case you mess up something. You can always bring it back by recoding back to the previous state. Now when you have activated coming home, then you can also modify its values in adaptation. So, for example, you can do coming home time, default or current value is 30, the range is from 10 to 60 seconds, as it says here in this note. Let's say I want it to be 25 seconds, I write in a new value, and then I test. Tested value is 20, which means that it needs to be rounded. Let's write it then 20 seconds. 20 seconds work and now we can save it. Are you sure you want to replace the values? Yes. Now we can read this channel again and it is 20 seconds. Then what you can also set is daytime running lights as fog lights or rear light as fog light. Uh, this is also in central electronics. I'll just show you where this is, but I, I, I really don't want that and I, I think it's not legal in Europe at least. Coding, low coding helper and then we go to byte 17. Here you can select daytime running lights via fog lights and in byte 21 you can select rear fog light as brake light, right? but I don't want to do that. Instead, what I want to activate is brake light flashing in the case of emergency braking. And this is byte 25 and should be bit seven, emergency brake light flashing. This is what I want to activate. Now with daytime running lights, you have kind of three options. First, you can have only front lights. Then second option is to have both front and back lights and then third option is to have front lights and position lights plus back lights. In coding activate bit 3 and bit 4 this means you will have rear lights from Scandinavian mode and you will have front lights from North American mode. Exit and save it. Click OK and that's it. By the way, you turn on daytime running lights with this button here. Just push it down until there is one. But if you activate this, then you will turn on Xenon headlights. The next thing I want to show you is the seat pedal warning. This is in instruments. Uh, this is module 17. We should go to coding. And in this first box, we can code the instrument cluster. Here is the note which tells you what this coding is about. So we want to change seatbelt warning, which is the second last number. And this numbers in front of each statement tells you what it is. So we want it to be zero seatbelt warning inactive. We want to change 
the second last value to zero we say do it and okay now we won't have this annoying seatbelt warning anymore in adaptation what we can do in instruments is to change for example maximum mileage to service value one means 100 kilometers so this is 30,000 kilometers for the service then we can also increase or decrease maximum time to service here one value is one day you would come to this module usually when you do your service when you change your oil and filters and then here you can reset the values which is mileage since service and we can set this to zero and then you have time since service which is 275 we can also set this to zero so that we reset the counter anyway if you have vcds what i would suggest is to use service reminder interval reset option in the main menu and follow instructions here to reset all the mileage the timing and everything so this will read up all the values so when all the values are read you can reset these values by changing here the type of the reset you want to make and for this car usually what i would do is flexible oil service reset for gasoline engine and this is long life this includes service and uh, oil change reminder right but for some there is this option fixed oil service reset as you know here in audi tt if you check for the oil change this is first check and the second check is service reminder so you have kind of two separate reminders now that's it for this video this is how coming home option now looks like once you open the doors they shut off